<laughs> or like a production machine is overloaded with CPU and I have to go do something to it. I don't know what the fuck that means at all. Mm-hmm. And neither do I. I barely hang on. I, I should not have this job. I should not have this. I should be, I should be tilling land. <laughs> it's, it's a trick that I've, I've gotten into a good line of work. You've been into that a lot lately. You've been saying we should all have eight kids by now. Mm-hmm. I don't really know what the fuck that is about. You just kind of yell is, that. I don't like, <laughs> you I just don't come want... over and you're like, we should have kids I don't... and then leave. Because we're doing this. <laughs> Do you see Having fun right doing a I podcast? Am? We should have kids. We should not know about Ukraine and wars. We should be in our own fields with our kids and our horrible wives. And then, like, people show up and be like, there's a war. You just want to be a cowboy. We say, Get out of my prairie. And we chase them off. All right? It should be illegal. Luke, you are getting woken orders. up in the middle of the night far too often, Lucy. You need sleep, dude. We should not, have, we should not be making game shows in his basement apartment. We should have so, children. I don't want kids. Uh, uh, you I don't want kids. Like, are I you, don't want them. Are you mad at the Industrial Revolution? It's caused some trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, it's like we... Luke really holds a grudge, our, man. Our monkey chimp brains are wired to have kids and attack strangers. Yeah. Oh, may and I? now we have to say nice things. We, hello to a stranger. Can I cut in real person. quick? No. You want kids, too, especially because they have tiny little fingers that fit in the looms. Yes. <laughs> Fit into I, what? I don't want a kid. I just, I know I should have a bunch. We should. That's what do you want to stick your kid's hand? What? It's a, a loom. loom like I thought you said it? a womb. No. That too. I'm that like, too. why did you agree to that so fast? You have to tag him in. <laughs> Boy, get in there. Get your sister. Hey, Luke, <laughs> Save the girl before here. your mother dies. <laughs> <laughs> Save your sister. You and Elspeth a... will never make it. Uh, <laughs> we'll get a new mother. <laughs> yeah, I feel like as a dad, you would be like, go to the woods for six months, come back, then you're my son. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Stuff like that. You got your kids uh, smoking cigarettes, and it's not like, oh, now you got to watch you smoke the whole pack. You're like, now you must grow tobacco. <laughs> you, <laughs> you must make your own cigarette paper. You will roll your own pack of homemade cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to live like you're in Red Dead. I love this theme. What else? What else is wrong with the world? Today? Yeah, buddy. What else you got? You got any gripes? I do. You, <laughs> you got any grievances? To bring it up, though. No, no. Okay, don't bring that up. Don't bring that up. I don't want to talk about that. The tunnels? We're he didn't t- even know about the tunnels. We're on the tenth episode of the podcast. <laughs> so this we- isn't this isn't an anti-Semitic thing. This is their attack. No, it is a thing. You you're Not so timid. You did, he didn't know about the actual tunnel. Hey, welcome to Loose Toss, the comedy podcast with the most sauce. Drip, drip. I'm Willie Griswold, drum up a pal, Colin Unger, and you just heard us talking to our friend. Luke Newman. He's a maniac, y'all. We're uh, not responsible for anything he says. He's a weird, real funny weirdo. He's an absolute weirdo. Absolute weirdo. He, he works, came in hot. He came in real he was hot. He's mad about his IT job. Yeah, he's mad about his IT job. We talk about that a little bit. We talk about a bunch of crazy shit. But yeah, that's Luke. We're going to talk for a second, and then we're going to hear more Luke, then a little talk with me and Colin, then maybe a little more goddamn Luke. We'll see how the edit goes, and we'll talk to you guys at the end. But yeah, what do you th- what do you think about Colin? What's going on? You got the I dip. love Lukey. Luke's a man. He's an absolute <laughs> fucking weirdo, but I love him. He is a weird guy. The way that I described him to Ashley, uh, who took our pictures. Thank you, Ashley. We love you a lot. You take the best pictures. Uh, I was like describing Luke to Ashley. I was like, one time Luke walked in a room, and he was just like, I saw a very strong lady on the walk over here. I'd like to pick. I'd like her to pick me up. That's he what he said. He loves a strong lady. He loves a strong gal. <laughs> He'll try and show me. He would show me photos of women that he's like, "Do you think she's hot?" I'm like, "Yeah, of course." And it's just an objectively hot woman, and then I'll slip in like a bodybuilder woman lady who looks like the She Hulk. He's like, "What do you think about her?" I'm like, "I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know how you think that's gonna work." Yeah, her skin's a little green. Yeah, if you have to trick someone into saying someone's hot. Then they're probably not that hot. And you have a weird type. And that's exactly what Luke has. He does have a weird type. He's a weird guy, but we love him. I uh, hey, we'll say this again at the end, but I've got some shows in Chicago next week. Colin, you've got some stuff. So stick around until the end. We'll tell you where we're going to be. Drip, drip. Drip, drip. I don't want kids. I don't want them. I really do not want any children. But we're supposed to. Nah, we're not. Sense? Not everyone should have kids. Yes, they should. That's not true. You're a, you, every cell in your body wants to do that. I don't want kids. I I've never had the urge to... You want to reproduce as a being, <laughs> as, mm-hmm. as, a, as a mammal. I don't think I do. You do. It's, this is, you don't no, know my do fucking like body. 
Do I like coming? Yes. Top three that, favorite what things. What that is? Yeah, Luke is. He's not saying. He's also, also, Colin, yeah. don't say you don't know my fucking body. You don't <laughs> know talk, my body. He's talking about basic human instinct. This is. It's yeah. an evolutionary trait. That's why human babies are so cute. <laughs> yeah. Human babies are cute so that the man doesn't just see the baby and throw it off a cliff. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. they made the baby cute so the fellow would stick around for a couple years. Cutest raise ethnicity that of baby, go. God damn Asian. it, Luke. Asian. Asian. That's a good Asian one. Asian babies <laughs> are adorable. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah. It certainly isn't white. It's definitely not white. They're they are white. little pink things. They're disgusting. <laughs> they look drunk. They look like hamsters. <laughs> yeah. Why, Why are they red? Dude, like have you seen a fresh baby too? Yeah. A baby awful. that's like a day. Old. They don't look regular. Save they're that bad. Picture. We should get rid of those things when they're really small. <laughs> they yeah. come out covered in cream cheese and shit. I cream don't. Cheese. That I is don't disgusting. Get it. I don't get it. My sister got born. She came out. There's cream cheese all over that. We got to get rid of you that stuff. You remember it? No, I wasn't there. I saw a photo though. <laughs> I saw a photo of like a one put schmear on that little baby. <laughs> Why they put all that goddamn schmear with, on that little baby? Willie rubbed a bagel on the head and took a bite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good thing I spot my, yeah. my salt bagel. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think I have any interest in having kids either. It's. You should have. One time I told Colin that he would make a great father, and then he called me gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what do you want to be the mom? <laughs> I would respond as well. It's like, no, you be, you're a fun guy. You're very kind. You know, you're I can nice. See you getting really into like T ball. Yeah, but, that, but no, me in sports, I get ang I get competitive. I know, that's sports. why you love it. A theory that I have is that people... You'd be the worst. <laughs> I think people that are fun at parties, people that are good partiers, would generally make great dads. That said, if you're the best at partying, bad dads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. That, yeah. that just makes it... Yeah, when but you're then, like a welcome addition. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My kid will be like, I'm hungry. I'm like, me too, bitch. <laughs> like, get a fucking job. I don't job. Know any of this works. <laughs> yeah. Get a fucking job. <laughs> Colin's saying it while like he a, doesn't have a fucking yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to not have a job. You're about to not have a job? Yeah. What are you thinking? What are you, what are you gonna get into? Collect unemployment for... You could never collect unemployment. Why? You, I just don't think that you as a person would be comfortable taking money from the government. I certainly would. Good, okay. Let's, let's yeah, the best time of my life was pandemic unemployment. Money. Pandemic was unemployment? The shit. I know. Every, all my friends became stock experts. It was a very funny era. <laughs> 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 what, are you, what are you in these days? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. During the pandemic, I got really involved in the stock market. I put in like a grand because I had money at the time. It's not really involved. Well, no, that's what I'm saying, though. But also, <laughs> yeah. like, also, like, that's my level. Is like, I'm like, I'm gonna be rich. I'm putting a thousand dollars in the stock market. And my yeah. grandma was like, "That's actually not a very good portfolio. You probably <laughs> want to put more." But then I did like safe stocks, like Amazon, Nike, Apple, mm -hmm. stuff that goes up very slowly but consistently goes up. Mm -hmm. And I was like, "This is easy. I made five hundred bucks off this. Now I'm gonna put the Willie G spin on it." Mm -hmm. So I got in on an IPO. That's called an initial public offering, Colin. Mm -hmm. And I said, "Which co Colin, which company? Fuck you. Which did you know what an IPO was?" He didn't. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I do. It's the beer that gets me drunker than the other ones. <laughs> it's the pickled beer. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't being condescending. I didn't Colin. think you knew what it stood for. Yeah. So I said IPO for this company, Sweet Green. It's like a fast food salad company. Yeah, they're terrible. And I put, I put all my money into Sweet Green, and I lost... All of it. Yeah, weren't they like a terrible stock <laughs> It didn't go well. It went really bad. That's so funny. It didn't go well, but I was like, I'm going to be a genius. What does America love? Salad. Yeah. Obviously, this is going to work. Yeah. I will tell you the actual, this is the this is my Willie G spin on yeah. stocks. And I don't know why I don't do this, because I know it'll work. Uh, every time a company does something that gets uh, public, I, like Bud Light, when Bud Light, the stock probably plummeted pretty ha hard mm. after the Dylan Mulvaney thing. Okay, buy all of it you can, because it's still Bud Light. Mm -hmm. It's going to come back up. Did this with Starbucks? You can do this with Subway with the Jared guy. Was oh wait, Starbucks is down right now. Yeah, isn't Starbucks it? goes down. I mean, when they went down because there's like they, the they war. kicked a bunch of people out of their bathroom or something, it <laughs> dumped and then buy it all. Then every time there's public outrage at a company, like a main company, that we're not going to get rid of. We're not getting rid of Subway. <laughs> buy all that. Luke <laughs> is just going into like Starbucks and Subways causing and causing problems. a scene. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am racist. Willie's wearing Willie's, Willie, uh, Luke's wearing blackface, and then he gets kicked out. He's like, I'm a black man. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I go <laughs> he goes to Twitter, he's like, like, they kicked yeah. out a black man. You this see, put on this. <laughs> you see a lawyer from the ACLU <laughs> make a statement being like, my two clients, these were black teens, they were having fun, they were kicked out of the Starbucks, and you're just like, ooh, I'm going to pull out my Rocket app. What's, the, yeah. what's, the, what's, the, what's that called? Fuck. Robin Hood app. I'm pulling oh, yeah, out Robin Hood. Yeah, that piece of shit. What did, he, what did he do recently that... The Robin Hood guys? Yeah, he stopped trading. 
Uh, they, the GameStop thing. The GameStop they made it. They made thing. it so you couldn't trade GameStop wow. after you already had. We it. should dismember him. <laughs> yeah. He, for, for that stunt, by the by the standards of a different era, he'd be cut into pieces, and those pieces would be spread across the country. See, I like this. That's I don't like you wanting us to have kids, but That's I like cutting people up in the crazy streets. That he did that, and there was no. We are such a soft, fucking comfortable populace. It's very sad. They can do anything they want to us. You just want martial law. I don't don't want martial law, but when somebody pulls some shit like that, he should be fed to dogs. (laughs) God (laughs) damn. What what kind of dogs? Does it matter? Uh, No, strays. Hungry (laughs) ones. Hungry dogs. Hungry dogs. (laughs) (laughs) Whatever, whatever's around. I would like to watch a finance guy get eaten up by like 50 chihuahuas. Yeah. I think if you go small, Mm -hmm. that's good. Or two, two St. Bernard's. Give me two big ones, or give me a lot of small ones. Oh, that would, the Saint Bernards would hate to do that. <laughs> give them, give them a bear. Just, just toss like. a bear. The in there. Chihuahua is a, not a sentient beast. That's <laughs> 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 just a full of rage bug. Saint Bernard would be like, I don't want to do this. Oh God! Oh, don't make me eat him. Oh. <laughs> It's so funny because I asked you which dog breed. You go, oh, it doesn't matter. Just give it to the strays. I know, but I wasn't thinking of. And I guess I wasn't thinking about it. But I just like that as soon as I got specific about the breed, you're like, actually, I have amendments to that. I don't <laughs> yeah. like. It, 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 it would be funny. A bunch of pugs. Yeah, yeah. A bunch militia of pugs. Of pugs going out of the tape. <laughs> yeah. They're just breathing like Tony Soprano ripping <laughs> yeah. apart some hedge fund banker. Golden Retrievers could never do something like that. Oh, no. no golden that. Retrievers can be. They're, no, they're dumb. I had a Golden Retriever when I was a kid that would attack people. Mm. Belcher was his name. And he was a great dog if he was like with the crew. Mm-hmm. But then people would bring their dogs onto our lawn. And then Belcher would just turn into a fucking attack dog God for damn. some reason. And the, re- the reason it was an issue was because he looked so cute. That no one ever thought it was going to be an issue. Mm-hmm. If you see a pit bull, most people kind of you know tread lightly. Mm-hmm. With the goal, people get on their knees, they want them to lick his yeah, face. Put my face next to its face. Exactly, and then Belcher just bit their fucking nose. <laughs> <off>. <laughs> That's fucking terrible. I fought a Rottweiler at one time and won. I was okay. like, that was one of what? the crazy experiences of my life. I told that to my girlfriend. I'd leave on the first date. I don't know how that came up, but I just told her I was like, yeah, I fought a Rottweiler, and she was like, oh. First, she said, like, yeah, she was like, I, I had questions, but that was a big hang-up for me. She just asked Luke if he's a dog up. person or a cat person. <laughs> <laughs> I fight dogs. I, did, I, no, I, I whooped a Rottweiler's ass. Do you dog. mean which one do I like or which one do I prefer to fight? <laughs> <laughs> a good dog. It was like this fucking unneutered. It was, when dogs and cats are not neutered, they get buff. Like, yeah, we, horny. You know what I'm talking? When you see, he had like veins on his arms. He had a vascular fucking mm-hmm. Rottweiler. It was just a huge dog. And I'm going to my friend's house. And uh, the dog is supposed to be outside. It's Christmas time. And I like close the door behind me because that's to be quiet because I don't want to wake up the family. And they're like Christmas lights coming in through the windows. And then I see fucking Thor, this like 130 pound Rottweiler, and his eyes are all big. And I put the <laughs> whites on his eyes. And he's like crawling at me out of the darkness. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And then he he's leaping at me. And I went into an act. This is like a real fight or flight thing. I've only been through one. It was completely bizarre. Don't, but I see his like don't hit him. mouth coming towards me. Don't. And no, I'm not. But like his mouth, and I'm looking down his throat from the Christmas lights, and then I see my arm coming to my face. <laughs> no! And, then, no! And I like I slammed it into his like jaw, and then I grabbed my other arm around the back of his head and just like noosed him like that. No! Yeah, so he was like, ah, like <laughs> no, and, then, and then I like picked him up like this, and he was, his legs were up, and he was just, his legs were like kicking me in the stomach. People and love dogs. Like and his face was right next to mine, and he was just like, <laughs> and then, um, people love dogs. This is so the mean Rottweiler. So you're trying, <laughs> and then I yelled and yelled, and his family came out. He was quiet. I was gonna say, so you came and tried to be quiet, and then you're like, for the love of God, help yeah, me. yes, yes. I was like, oh, oh. but I was like, didn't get hurt, didn't get. Bruise and this dog has bitten so many people. Just tiptoeing, <laughs> silently shutting the door, and then just help! Yeah. I can help me. I'm gonna die. Yeah. I'll, I'll fucking kill him. I'll fucking kill him. <laughs> I put my finger in his ass. He likes it. I could not believe how I uh, handled it. It was such a bizarre moment. Everything oh, slowed down. It was crazy. That's it only happened so once. Funny. Yeah, I've never. I don't know if I've ever had a fight, fight or so flight. Crazy. I've been in fights, but I've never had like a real fight or flight moment where I'm like, mm. I'm going to die. You need a Rottweiler coming at you from the darkness. I don't want that. I think I'm okay. But I don't. If I go my whole life without, without a fight or flight moment, I could die happily not knowing <laughs> if I'm a fighter or a flighter. You know, it would be a fun game show. It's a game show, and it's called Fight or Flight. And they're just like, you either get to fight this guy or fly to Aruba. And just, <laughs> just every week, they're like, 
Yeah, I'll take the flight. Like they just everybody yeah. just always oh. wants. I like the idea. I, catch of any kind. Yeah. I like the fight or flight idea. It's He's just like Aruba. six contestants, and you just toss a gun in the middle of them. <laughs> it's like That's winner fun. flies to Aruba. <laughs> 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 no, a gun's not fun enough because a gun. I want it to be. I like, just want a gun so bad. Right now. I want hand to weapon combat. I want give them a stick. Mm-hmm. You so know? you want an intimate death. Um, I, like a stabbing. Well, I just think that it's look, it's a 30 hour show. Let's just say it's 23 minutes with commercials. I think realistically, if you have a gun, that's too short of a show. Mm-hmm. I think it needs to be a knife, maybe a broken cool, pool cue. Mm-hmm. That could be fun for everybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, broken what a, bottle. Uh, didgeridoo. Give them weird instruments. I always thought if I was in a bar fight when they're like breaking beer bottles, you in bar fights, yeah. things like that, I would break a little mm-hmm. hot sauce bottle. Wouldn't oh, that's make, nice. That Spicy. Sense? It would be like... like ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just need to cut them a little. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> the stings. The stabbing is Put one thing. Put that shit on everything. The They're Tabasco. Like, ooh, everyone stop. Everyone stop. <laughs> hey, is that Chipotle Tabasco? <laughs> yeah, the bartender's like, we don't do that around here. No chemicals. <laughs> that, I've heard that the bar fight, the breaking a beer bottle thing like that, I've heard that in, in movies they use like sugar glass, like breakaway glass. Mm-hmm. I've heard that if you try to break a beer bottle like that, it doesn't work as well and it doesn't look cool and actually usually just hurt your hand. Oh, probably, yeah. Well, after um, a Laugh Factory show one night, a bunch of us went to the whatever that bar is next door. And you know Hattie Preston? Yeah. She's, yeah, London comic, mm-hmm. very funny. But she, a uh, fight almost broke out with like this group and like who we were with the comics mm-hmm. and I was just in the back I'm like I'm gonna, what the fuck I'm, I'm not doing it I'm not gonna get in a fight <laughs> it's like it. yeah, yeah it's, there's yeah. four of you that are over six feet tall it's like this is your yeah. job yeah, <laughs> if I'm short point. you guys fight for me <laughs> but then Hattie was just walking up and taking all the pints off the table like I didn't even think of it in the moment and then she came over and she's like yeah in Ireland they would have just started smashing those on each other's head. I'm like, God, it's so much. You guys are so fucking cool. <laughs> no, they're, they're, they all got health care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I don't think there's do no it. why wouldn't we? That's how they say, that's how they say hello. <laughs> yeah. They don't have a fear. <laughs> Europeans are so fucking stupid, man. They really, they get this, they get this like rap of being like, oh, upper, you know, they're the upper echelon of intelligence. No, they're not. They're dumb. They do shit like that. Their fights are much bigger. Cooler. <laughs> There's their cart kind of more constant, but no one, they, they don't have guns. So I've seen like European tourists running their mouth in places like, you are going to be murdered. <laughs> Someone is going to shoot you and there will be no solving it. You should relax. <laughs> There's not going to be a fist fight. Oh my yeah. God, that's so cute. You think they're going to fist fight you? That guy's going to shoot you in the face. Yeah. America, Your last thought is going to be, oh, how embarrassing. Yeah. In America, you can't have a temper. Because you'll just get shot, and then yeah. you won't be able to go to the hospital for that gun wound. Exactly. Over there, yeah. it's like, nobody's got guns. We can all get health care for free. There are no consequences. <laughs> Let's just fucking, I'm going to stab this guy with yeah. a ketchup I've bottle. Always, I've always wanted to bash someone over there. Yeah. Or something. They're oh, like, I missed you, smash a pine on his head. <laughs> that's why they serve malt vinegar with fish and chips, because yeah. it breaks away so easily you can stab a guy. Yeah. Yeah, pretty fun. Pretty fun, boys. I do, do, I do want a gun. I'm in a, I'm in a big gun Get phase. One. I want one. Everybody needs two. <laughs> That's my... I do have... How many I, do you I, have? I think uh, I have one. Yeah, and you I have think... to get two because then the other gun gets lonely and needs another gun to play mm-hmm. with. Yeah. It's like a cat. <laughs> yeah, a double pistol is sick. You need a shotgun. You need an assault rifle of some kind. You don't RPG. need a handgun. You don't need a handgun. You rolled your gun. eyes. You know, I don't like them. You rolled your eyes as you said. I you like don't them. need a handgun. I find them unwieldy. I'm not good at them. And I don't want to like, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to be like a guy carrying a gun in the city because I don't know. If, I feel like Chicago is one of those places, if a dude runs at me with a knife and I shoot him dead, I feel like I will go to jail in this wretched city. No, that. Because of this oh, horseshit well, goddamn laws. They'd be like, he was turning his back. I'm like, yeah, at the last second, I was too fast. He, I still, <laughs> so? He tried to kill me. Why am I in trouble? Like, he, you're not allowed to do that. I got a quick so draw. Dumb. Why are you walking around with this death wish mentality? I'm not. I am lately. I'm I, am. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want a gun if I had a like. I have a gun, but it's just I don't even want it. My friend just kind of like more or less sent it to me because he had one lying around. I'll take it. I'm. I'm. I've been. I've re-downloaded uh, Red Dead, mm-hmm. and I want to. You just take want a revolver life. to play with? No, I want to shoot someone in the face. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been doing that. I, I do it where you get the first person, so I'll kill someone. Yeah. I'll just walk up to over their dead body, and the graphics are so good. I'll just shoot like their arm, and then just look play. at the so oh, the. Like bullet hole, I'm like, God, this is so impressive. <laughs> I'll blow their head off with a shotgun. Yeah, joke that like really works at open mics, then you go try it in front of normal people, and they're just like, What the fuck mm-hmm. is that? 100%. Like, mm, that was my bad, everybody. I had this joke. I was like, I don't, I don't have a gun. Lie. So I was like, I didn't have a gun. <laughs> so for home defense, I have a Roomba and a bear trap on top, and that scoots around my apartment. 
And so if a, somebody comes in and it goes off, I get to come downstairs like, ooh, somebody has stepped into my dick-sucking trap and <laughs> pull their pants down. <laughs> That's the joke. And then, I, and then I collate them for scaring me. So this <laughs> yeah, I just like the image, and that worked really good. You did, you did this joke at open mic? Yeah. My dick-sucking <laughs> trap. And then you tried it with regular people. Yeah, and they were like, what the fuck? And I thought the big punch was like, because it's, and I was like, because people, it's funny, you see the image of him going back to his car to get with his getaway driver, and I'm like leaning out the window, like I made him come. Tell your, <laughs> tell your friend what I did to you. <laughs> and then still silence from the uh, laughing crowd. My dick sucking trap. Uh, I love that you went from an open mic to a club with that joke. It <laughs> it was... It's still a funny joke. In your head, when you were like, in your head, as soon as you got off at the open mic stage, you're like getting in your car, or whatever. And you're just like, I can't wait to go do this, and it's gonna uh, kill. Yeah, <laughs> rip. <laughs> Real people, people that got babysitters, yeah. and went home, dropped their car off at work, got in their fucking, fa- got their fat wife to get in an Uber. <laughs> they paid a babies all- babysitter fifty dollars to watch their dumb fucking kids, <laughs> and then you walk on and stage, the- and you say the term <laughs> "dick sucking trap." <laughs> Reverse <laughs> ideas. Uh, I can I say another new bit? Yeah, yeah. do it. I like this. So you know about age regression, right? When trauma makes you go back to your childhood. Mm-hmm. Like you've heard oh, I thought you like, meant like a Benjamin Button disease. Age no, regression. like the real thing is like you get traumatized so hard you're suddenly six and yeah. it's like a horrible I problem. I'm not feeling 32. You know what I mean? I don't like it. Mm-hmm. I was like wondering if I let enough men fuck me in the mouth. Oh my god! Could I just go back to like 28? Could I get a little age regressed? God, that's so <laughs> funny. Like I want to get age, I, but I've been doing it. so far. It just makes me give me the blues, really. Just uh, <laughs> yeah, but letting these guys man, uh, fuck, fuck my mouth. My I'm mouth. not. I'm not feeling younger. I'm just kind of sad. <laughs> sad, and I don't like it. So if I may, <laughs> I do not like it. You're trying to be intentionally traumatized, yeah, <laughs> so that you can I, be filled with childlike wonder no, again. No, no, no. I don't want to go. I just want. I just need a little bit of trauma to get to 28. <laughs> I don't want to be four. I just want to be. I'm not. I don't like 32. 30 kind of hit me hard. 30 is when I started talking about how we should be having kids. This game show. This. This is a result of no kid. No kid. No kid. <laughs> <laughs> this is so f***ing and dumb. This is the stupidest thing. No. Oh, the rule. Uh, it's so uh, dumb. The rule. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can take a dollar. You can put it in your swear word channel. Uh, you dumb child. No, this is dumb. But we all should be... We all should have children. And I don't want to do that. No. You get it. No, I get it. He's uh, too simple. Uh, I get it 100%. Uh, mm. I get it a million percent. I look at, if I see a baby, if I'm on like a walk and I see a baby in a stroller and I'm like, I like make a fun little fit. By the way, if you're good with kids, don't be good with kids in public if you're a man. Mm -hmm. People think it's fucking weird. Sure. If I'm with my girl and she sees a baby, oh, so cute. How old's the baby? Everybody loves it. If I go, Look at that little baby. Let me take that little. Let me let me what see that little fucking baby. baby. People get so fucking weird because I'm trying to say hi to the baby. Google, Google, <laughs> Google, Gaga, baby. Did you start pulling candy out of my pockets. <laughs> He's too Just young. Loose candy corn. Yeah. Candy sprinkling it on it. This is for you. Uh, a six month old can't have Jolly Ranchers. Pull yeah, he's got. He's pull got, got a really long liquor. <laughs> <laughs> Oop, that, that's got lint on it. You lick it yeah. off. <laughs> I'm, that's for you. I'm taking a Twizzler that I ripped up and I go. You ever seen the lady in the tram? I'm trying to get him to do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he's trying Stop to yelling at me. feed a baby candy like a child. bird out of its mouth. Okay, well, so Luke, right now you're playing. You're playing with a mic clip and a lighter. How are you doing over there, buddy? You having fun? fun? Yeah, I'm comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hunt any animals while you're home? I couldn't find one. You were looking. <laughs> yeah. Do you I'm know about this, Willie? When he was a kid, he used like to looking for him. They used to hunt mountain lions in Arizona. Is there a season for this? Are you allowed to be hunting these things? No, but we didn't have a gun. We it's were too using... much free time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we, it is. we had a, a spear. We made. We, my friend had a pit forge, and we used to make. You can anyone can make a spear or a knife. It's actually very straightforward. As soon as you as you have a forge, if you can get metal red, and you have an anvil. It is like the consistency of clay. So not and anybody can, can like, do this. No, but if you gotta have the gear. There's so many qualified things. Anybody right. can do this. As soon this. as you have like three things, anybody can make a spear. And if you're metal like if you're like twelve is, or thirteen oh. and you have a spear, now you're gonna go find a mountain lion. So, wait. How are you gonna do that? You're gonna get a disc. It's a hunting disc that's just the sound of dying rabbits, like rah, that noise they make, and you play a little boombox and you wait in the bush. And then you just wait and you're looking around, and then you'll just see shit will come out of the fucking desert and you'll try to kill a mountain lion. Did you kill a mountain lion? No. 
Did they, you it even? Kicked the sh- it would have killed us dead. <laughs> they, they, thank God. We've like, I think I've seen one. They get close. But like, here's the thing. Everything that animal has ever consumed, it killed with its own mouth. <laughs> so it, it would have, it would have fucked us up. Two fat kids with spears. Uh, you guys, <laughs> why weren't you doing drugs? Why couldn't you? Just we were too young for drugs. Why like couldn't 12 you or just do drugs? Are safer yeah, than what you were get doing. Get into drugs yeah. early. That's crazy. If I'm a parent uh, and my kid's doing a little bit of coke, that's terrifying. But if they're trying to kill mountain lions in the woods, yeah. that kid's never gonna make it. What's the closest you've gotten? Close. <laughs> no, I've seen him. I've, we've, we've seen him. I imagine you guys. They're not quiet. You Gross. guys just have they a like. Shit, when you're actually like, when you're hiding and you hear something coming, like it's. They, they're not like house cats. It's crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, uh, that's terrifying. They're like bustling through trees and branches. So you're like just like, oh, fuck. We fucked up. We yeah, fucked no, up. I, I imagine like you guys do like a family guy type that you're both pointing <laughs> spears, but you're like just going in circles <laughs> back and forth, matching the mountain <laughs> lion. <laughs> <laughs> so my buddies, my buddies used to live on this lake near Indianapolis called Geis, and there was a little like boat warmer thing underneath. Basically, there was one part of the lake that they lived on that would never freeze, and so swans would come hang out in this area, mm. and they would just swim around because there was a little water on this big oh, frozen no. lake. And my friends, they thought it was a goose. And so they got their little air rifle out. Mm-hmm. And we went out back, and they shot a goose. Because you can just do that. <laughs> they shot a goose, buddy. You're stabbing. You're stabbing mountain lions. Oh, I know, but is it no, <laughs> you no one to be talking about le- these rules? Is it legal? I think you can do whatever you want. Canadian geese, they're uh, they're like overpopulated. I think you can oh. do whatever the fuck you want. Those. Like, okay. But the, the swans. The swans, on the other hand, <laughs> they walk in and they, they like throw it over their shoulder onto the kitchen table, <laughs> and their mom just starts crying. Their mom's like this sweet. Oh. Tr- Church going good Catholic, and she goes, Boys, you've murdered a swan! Uh, <laughs> this is a fancy goose. No. We like these geese. They looked it up. No. Swan breast mm-hmm. on the black market mm-hmm. sells for like $6,000. Oh my god. Breast. So they never did anything with Let's it. Let's go kill some It's Let's so swans. illegal. Fucking go kill a swan, dog. No, again, but buddy, if you think the mountain lions are going to get us, the swans are going to get us too. We're not tough. We're not tough guys. I could take a swan. I kick the fuck out of a swan. This I was, you know what? All I was thinking about some people I know have this fear of geese. They're like, oh, Me, it'll bite I don't you. like them. Bring it on. No, it's I not. Will, I'm not afraid of them. I just death. don't. I've been okay. chased by like a flock of Same. geese like Everyone three has, different I've never, times. I've, never I've thought about this. If a goose ever did chase me and it was getting after me, what I would do is I'd find their leader, the biggest one, because mm-hmm. they travel in packs. Mm-hmm. They like the thing that I do like about gooses, geese, is that they always hang out with their pals. Mm-hmm. I like an animal that's part of a crew. I would grab its <laughs> head and twist it. You know, no, what? No, you grab. Here's my thing: is actually it's just as bad. You grab by the head, and then you kind of lasso it. Yeah. You start swinging it around. That's so much worse. I think that'll break a neck a few ways. Yeah, and, and now then, you got a, a, cr- a crudgel. I know. And remember, so I told you you get the biggest one, so now you find the second biggest one, and then you throw this fucker at that fucker. Mm-hmm. Basically, you say, this is your king, that's your queen, I'll take them both out. Now... I'm the king and the queen of the ghosts. <laughs> now, now you get a fun little army. <laughs> now I have a fun little gang that follows the me around to Percy Harper. I'm the king and queen. <laughs> well, he's the they them of geese. Yeah. No, why? <laughs> That's not even a fucking joke. <laughs> I just meant that I'm in charge of them. Don't make it a thing about fucking... King and queen. But, uh, I'm the king of queens. I'm basically Kevin, ja- uh, Kevin James. Yeah, Kevin, Kevin, James. Kevin James. That show, man, there was a point in my life where I'm like, this is the best show ever made. <laughs> we, I mean, now it's easier to like, look back. Like, we all do comedy. And, but when you're a kid, what beats three episodes of Everybody Loves Raymond after dinner? Fucking not much, dude. Scrubs, man. Scrubs really hit Scrubs for me. Scrubs awesome. taught me a lot of life lessons that my parents couldn't. <laughs> yeah, same. It was really just a song. I just like their soundtrack. I'm like, <laughs> this is gonna this is gonna be who I am for a few years. But the hunting thing, me and my buddies, when we went fishing, it was like that age where you start doing that stuff like out your parents, and none of us knew how to get a fish off of a hook. Yeah. <laughs> so we just had a friend Tanner, who was just the dumbest person ever, who had felt nothing when he killed an animal. <laughs> so we'd be like, we can't get the fish off the hook. So it was his job to take <laughs> the fishing pole and just swing it oh and smack the God. water <laughs> to get the fish off the hook. And we're like, all right, let's catch a new one. And the oh other fish, the fish would just float on. <laughs> See, that this is How why... You? We were like, 
Young, young. That's like, so it fun. was like, like eight, nine. You need to be yeah. in Indiana. We're idiots, but we're, we can take a fucking fish hook out. Chicago well, it, it suburbs me. kids. Mm-hmm. Chicago, you, Chicago suburbs kids, you're so, you think you're city kids. You kind of live out in the country of the suburbs, but you're all fucking morons because you don't know how to operate with the land. No. In Indiana, we can operate with the land. You're just eating corn off the stock. Relax. <laughs> Remember one time I said I like corn more than you, and you got genuinely fired up. <laughs> when I get fired up? Yeah, it was funny. You were like, are you fucking serious? I'm doing this right now. Did I say that? I've never even right seen whether like, you eat corn. Quick, I'd imagine that I said something about <clears throat> in-season sweet corn from Indiana. You, yeah. I, <laughs> I would imagine surely. I said something about yeah. sweet corn in-season. You, 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 you got real high and mighty. Did I maybe say the rhyme, knee-high by the 4th of July? I don't remember. I'd imagine I would have said that I as well. I down immediately. I saw in your eyes how serious you were. Watching Willie get mad about food is hilarious. Watching Willie get mad with food is also hilarious. A comic told me a story of when Willie got really pissed. Uh, yeah, Willie got really pissed off, and he like gave him money for them to go out. Don't and then the, yeah, there's one detail. He saw he's him. Okay. He saw Willie um, eating an Italian beef, <laughs> Italian beef alone. Was that after Al's a show. Alone? I used to go to <laughs> Al's alone a lot because I lived by I lived no. by Al's, so I'd go there alone a lot. And then I saw this guy at the end of the <laughs> night. He, he owed me money, and I forgot about it. Then I remembered it. He said he saw Willie look up and locked eyes while he's holding this beef, <laughs> and then he gets up and doesn't drop the beef. <laughs> and then grabs a violet shirt with an Italian beef in the other hand. Are you serious? <laughs> you you were like genuinely angry? I don't remember it. I don't remember I think, it. I think it was Big Will. It was, who Big was Will. angry. Oh I was out God. and I was swinging. Well, that's the thing. If I'm eating beef alone, <laughs> I'm fucking <laughs> wait. Here's okay, I got two stories real quick. So one time I was, uh, it was during COVID. I was in Chicago doing shows. I did not live here. And I went to go meet, I want to say you at Nisei, that baseball bar by Wrigley. And as I get out of the cab, I just see Al's beef right there. And I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm making a fucking detour. Mm-hmm. The fellas can wait so I get an Italian beef. But it's during COVID, so you can't eat inside of the restaurant. So I get my Italian beef. And then, like, the little tray where they serve you all your stuff, I just ducked under that. No. And I sat on the floor underneath, yeah. no. and I just ate a whole Italian beef. <laughs> eat I, it I, while I eat walking, those, I eat dude. those over the There's... sink. I don't, like to be, I, I don't like to be seen or be... You know what I mean? That's a mess. Are you a shame eater? Uh, no, I'm a pra- pragmatic man. <laughs> <laughs> so I, first of all, I get it wet. <laughs> you need dunk that I want shit. extra, extra as you. I don't do so that. So I, do I like it so wet. Give me a bucket. Do with fucking this that. shit could come apart in my hands. Willie likes this so wet. Grabs someone by the collar. They're like, oh, you got, you got a shoe on my collar. You owe me three dollars. I start smacking them with, yeah. with the beef across the face. I have like that exact, <laughs> I, have, I have that exact same story in college, but with chicken wings. <laughs> I have the story of like being mad at someone and like pointing at them, being like. You fucked up! You fucked up! And my friend Alana told me that there was just chicken wing sauce dripping off my finger. That is and I was like, you fucking dumb, you fucking dumb ass! So <laughs> you fucking dumb ass! There's, there's ranch coming off. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we have the other one. Mm. So back to the, let's go back to the not drug willy section of the podcast. <laughs> let's go back to the animal cruelty section of the podcast. My, my, my brother and I were both kids. We're fishing in Key West in Florida. And we'd been using a fishing net, which you're not supposed to use. Mm-hmm. But we were using a fishing net, and we caught a puffer fish. And we didn't know it was a puffer fish. Oh, shit. And the night before, it was like man versus uh, Bear, Bear Grylls era, man versus wild. And we're like, hey, let's uh, let's cook the fish that we made. First thing we did, we <laughs> cut it up. And so we take it, and we like put it like fin down, and we're like going through like the chest bone, essentially. And then we do it. <laughs> and then... It puffs up. <laughs> we didn't know it was a bird. Oh, shit. Isn't that like dangerous as shit? <laughs> yes. And the, oh my God. The blood, its blood is like pulsing out of it. <laughs> yeah. And then we just, we just threw it back into the ocean because we didn't want to be, we didn't want to live off the land anymore. We had no more interest in living on the sea. And we walked onto that dock. Two happy boys. And as we retreated back to my mother, she was like, hey, boys, do you have fun? Was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was really disturbing. We saw things. Uh, we saw things. We're different, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never unsee that. What can we talk about? I haven't had anything interesting happen. What are you talking about? You've been sick for two weeks. Yeah, and that's not interesting. You, you, oh, dude, it was interesting from my end. What? You, uh... You got really mad at me and Sab because we made fun of you for pooping your pants. Yeah. And you're like, it's not funny, I'm sick. Yeah. I, it wasn't like I'm I was sick just... sick as shit. Yeah, I wasn't just eating fucking Flaming Hot Cheetos <laughs> and shitting all over myself. You love being sick because you just ordered... Man. I t- Anytime I talk to you, you're like, man, I just ate so many edibles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what'd you do after that? And you're like, I made homemade edibles. <laughs> well, I ran out of edibles. And then I ordered DoorDash three times from I, the same place. I ran out of edibles and... 
and uh, I had to make some homemade ones, and I fucked it up. I burned the butter. So the whole thing is you have to decarb the hash oil. So you put the hash oil in the oven, and then you melt it into. I'm melted, a fellow scientist. You put it into melted butter, but then after you get it hot, you can't get it too hot. Once yeah. you get it too hot, you it cooks stir. all it cooks all the weed out. And I was do I was making uh, fucking cocoa pebbles, cocoa pebbles, rice krispies, right? Mm, Those hit. But bro, I added fucking peanut butter to the recipe. Great recipe. Sick so fucking recipe. So they tasted recipe. good, but they didn't get you high? Yeah, they tasted fucking great, but there was too much butter in them, so they were so dense. They were like, like every bite you took felt like eating a quarter of a stick of butter. And That's they, disgusting. They didn't get me high at all until the last one. I ate this one, and I could see this like little butter patch on it, and I was like, oh, oh it was the chosen shit. One. Yeah, it was the fucking chosen one, <laughs> It was one, the dude. chosen one. I got the ratio all off. The distribution was so fucked. What time did you eat that at? I ate it like on a fucking, on like a Tuesday or a Wednesday. I, no, it was Thursday, excuse me. I ate it Thursday at like fucking 9 a.m. Oh, so that day's done. Yeah, and then an that hour later. And done. I, well, and I, I should have fucking taken it later because I wanted to goddamn sleep. I couldn't sleep at did all. Did it knock you out? Uh, kind of. We were gaming that day. We were gaming. That's when I kept being like, I'm way too fucking high. Yeah, I, I shit my pants. So I, so I didn't shit my pants. Let me just say this. Well, you can't make edibles on edibles. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. So here's what happened is I, uh, yeah, I just went for a fart and then a little bit of poop came out. It happened twice within like two hours. I had That's to throw- shitting your, if you shit your, a little bit. A little bit. What's a little bit? The tiniest amount. Enough to make my underwear wet and be like, I gotta throw these away. I wasn't happy about it. But I threw it, and then the fucking next day, Seb had diarrhea, and I made fun of him, and he was like, no, this is different, I'm traveling. I have traveler's diarrhea. <laughs> it's a thing. I've never, is that a thing? I've never had traveler's diarrhea. Yeah, because you only fucking travel to Peoria, bitch. You gotta travel a little bit before you <laughs> get to box comedy club. I'm only loyal to you. <laughs> No, that place is. Uh, I love the jukebox. That place is crazy. I fucking do. You know that one time I was on air uh, doing Bob and Tom, and somebody was like, t- they were talking about this weird comedian. It's like, yeah, Timmy Fire Sticks, and he does like it's like like some fake crazy act. And I was the like, the jukebox hey. is crazy. But I was like, hey, don't make fun of Timmy Fire Sticks. I'm opening up for him in Peoria next month. And Dan from the jukebox sent me a text, and he was like, he was like, hey, did you talk about the 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 club on air this morning? I was like, oh yeah, it was just a joke. I was just saying that I was opening for a fictional TikTok comedian. He's like, we have like 10 people call in saying they wanted to buy tickets to go see Willie G <laughs> and TikTok Tommy, whoever the fuck the guy's name was. I thought, you were, I thought he was going to be like, well, Jimmy Firesticks had an accident <laughs> and he caught on fire. <laughs> Jimmy Firesticks has been extinguished. No, Jimmy Firesticks was not a real comic. We were just like riffing about some, I wouldn't like, even be surprised. some TikTok guy that like spins around devil sticks. I don't know what his fucking shtick is. <laughs> when, I, uh, when I did Jukebox, it was... Um, it was an experience, dude. Dan is a character. He character. goes up and does, like, kind of crowd work for yeah. the first, like, 10, 15 Off minutes. Off mic, no microphone. He walks through the crowd yeah. and talks He's to like, everybody. He was, like, kicking chairs and stuff. <laughs> it was, like, a, like an inspirational speech <laughs> sort of thing. And then he's like, Colin Unger, we got him here featuring. He's like, a lot of famous Ungers that have played hockey. And I, like, went on stage. I'm like, I don't know who any of those guys are. I'm like, I hope you guys don't think. Some guy in the crowd, I was, like, fucking with him a little bit. I'm like, what's your hobby? He's like, last week I made a uh, a Triton. Is that what it is? The Aquaman thing? Like what Poseidon uses? Yeah. yeah. And at the end of the show, he showed me a photo of it because I thought it would be, like, a little, like, paperweight thing. Sure. It was like nine fucking feet. <laughs> like the detail was insane. And I'm like, that's what you guys do out here. There's nothing to do. So you make like weapons based off yeah. of like Greek, Greek mythology. Like, Dude, this is bad. This is bad. When I was in middle school, my sister found one of my mom's <laughs> vibrators. Oh no. Was it a and triton? It was, it was a it was a three pronged. It's not triton, by the way, it's trident. Trident. Is trident. that what it was? Triton. I don't know what a Triton is, man. We used to play football against Triton Central. That's a school in Indiana. Huh. So it's a Trident. But yeah, then everybody in my friend yeah, group no, caught wind of it. Home. Everybody called my mom Poseidon for a while because she oh, wielded the gosh. Trident. That rocks. She was the chosen one. It's the second time I've said the chosen one on this podcast. One was about edible and one was about your mom's sex toy. <laughs> Did she know that you guys found it? Oh. <laughs> Did she know oh. that you guys found oh. it? I, I I don't know. I think my sister found it. I just heard about it. My friends and I didn't find it. But yeah, good for her, dude. She was in her she was in her forties. She was trying to make stuff happen. Oh yeah, yeah. She was I an older know. lady in Indiana trying to make shit go down. Dude, I you know? know I have a joke about this, man, but it's not fair. The lack of sex toys for men. <laughs> well, like what the hell? We should get flashlights, like our boy. 
<laughs> One of our buddies, our buddy that we play Xbox with, is telling us that he's getting a flashlight. A Sky Breeze specific, specific flashlight. Yeah, it's like the inside. And Letty asked us if he should get a tattoo, <laughs> not of Sky Breeze, <laughs> of Sky Breeze flashlight. Shout out, man! Feeling fresh. Yeah, shout out to uh, Booga. Shout out, dude. Booga. He just actually released some music. Yeah, he did uh, release Toronto music. based Raptor with our friend. Raptor. <laughs> Toronto Raptor. based Raptor. <laughs> Raptor. <laughs> Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, yeah, a former yeah, yeah, Toronto yeah. based Raptor. Anyway, shout out Kawhi, shout out Sky Breeze. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the original duo, Kawhi yeah. and Sky Breeze. I mean, he does, um, Josh, or Booga does uh, music. He, but he's like homies with Sky Breeze. They do Instagram lives together all the time. I have no idea how you get involved in that world. <laughs> I'm not really <laughs> interested. Wink, wink, Sky Breeze. <laughs> it is shocking. That she you're not. Fortnite, I've heard. She I'm has? not like an influencer. Yeah, no, no. It's shocking that you're not like deep, deep into like those women that are halfway between influencers and porn stars. Yeah. It is shocking <laughs> to me that you don't have like you're not DMing Angela White every other day. No, I'm DMing Jimmy Butler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm DMing <laughs> the athletes, and it sucks. It sucks because I did that constantly. I did it. Instagram updated their shit probably because of me. Because now when you send someone who, like, doesn't follow you back a DM, they have to accept it before you can send them more DMs. Yeah. So, like, I can't, I mean, my boys are busy. They're yeah. all in season. Yeah. That's, probably, that's the only reason they're not replying. <laughs> so that's the only reason. Yeah. The only Ice reason. Spice has a DM for me just saying, yo, and I assume she's on tour or filming something because <laughs> she hasn't got back to me yet either. Do you ever think about when you DM someone like a celebrity or someone of higher status than you? Because one time... I'm terrified. Dude, this is so bad. Well, don't you, you ever get afraid that maybe eventually in the future you'll become friends with them mm -hmm. and then they'll accept it and then you'll... One, remember when Pete Holmes came to town to promote Crashing? He had the TV yeah. show on HBO and it was about like open mic comedy the first season. I remember. I remember that because that was when we first started. Well, yeah, yeah. So we had an open mic back then and I DM Pete Holmes. And I've like seen this in the past. It's just like... Hey Pete, uh, we're we're new comics in Chicago. We run an open mic at this Irish bar, and then I go. I literally wrote, "I I loved the first episode of your show. It's a love letter to open mic comedy." Oh my god, that's so much worse than me DMing grown men. I love you. Good luck out there. I've asked Jimmy Butler for fifty grand. I've DM'd Jimmy Butler and asked him for 50 grand, and that's less embarrassing. <coughs> Ugh. Oh, dude, yeah, that's why I DM'd that him. Sick. But then we had him on air. We had him on Bob and Tom. And then oh, I like no. I like plugged the show and he didn't he didn't see the, the second message. But I can just imagine him opening it up, being like, Oh, this is the kid that interviewed me. Did he me like today. follow you or like no, he did not. messages? Thank goodness he did not message me back and he oh, didn't follow me. Because I was that like, if this, so much if this motherfucker accepts this, he's gonna see that I asked him to come to my open mic. I asked a guy with an I, HBO oh, show. I, didn't know you I was a year and a half in, and I asked him to come to my open mic and said that his TV show was a love letter to open mic comedy. Uh, <laughs> Uh, did you offer him any? Did you offer him? Don't tell me you said there's like twenty dollars free pizza and drinks. <laughs> I was probably like, I'll give you the five reserve spots. Yeah, here. that's usually yeah. when the room's the hottest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the first one is the fifty year old open micer who's <laughs> <laughs> We've got a guest by the laugh factory later. We've got a few girls that yeah. come every week that only do stand up at this open mic, and they hit on Colin. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh man, dude! There was that one. Oh god, this story gives me anxiety. But it truly really wasn't my fault. Which one? Remember when uh, break the glass? It was like those break the glass. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. No, when some girl came, so we were like uh, a table of girls left, and then Mark, while he was on stage, was like, "These hot girls left. If anyone wants a drink, they left some like." their drinks and then someone storms up and just starts just a crazy open micer starts chugging it everyone's like chug chug and Mark's like smash it on the ground <laughs> and she just whips it on the ground and it shatters and everyone's like yeah and I had to go out to the manager and be like hey someone accidentally knocked over the glass <laughs> not that we yeah. blatantly encourage yeah. someone I, don't, I, I was at the I was at the hospital that night. I was doing the you twenty four hour. Uh, oh, PG. I remember that, dude. You missed out on a hectic dude, Durkins. I, I mean, everyone was Durkin. Every Durkins was hectic, but this one had different. I was just sitting in the hospital. And my head was all strapped up with all these wires because I was trying <laughs> to test my brain activity, and I got a text from you just being like, 
oh my god blank just shattered a glass at the open mic <laughs> and then you called me later but it was after the fucking open mic it was twenty dollars all you could drink you were just wasted trying mm. to sell this and you're like okay so then she walks up there yeah, yeah, yeah. and then renucci's yelling make sure you mention that people yeah. were sitting there there were all these yeah. other girls sitting there <laughs> that mic ruined my life for a little while it was great dude i fucking loved that i think we should bring it back no, I will burn that building to the ground. Oh my god! I should Tw- probably, yeah, I should, I should probably sell twenty dollars cash. Building. Twenty dollars cash. All you could drink, you call it, and all you could drink, domestic beers. I used to smash three one two green lines like they were fucking water. And that was like the nights where you're like, I'm only drinking beer tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing is that we got a drink for free, but inevitably I'd end up getting shots. Yeah. So I would always end up spending like forty dollars on shots for me and the bartender. Remember the bartender that wore a Kansas City Chiefs hat every single week oh dude it was like jc yeah jc he was the JC. fucking man it was one time where um me and him like didn't get in it we just like bickered for a minute because our friend tim and lizzie from louisiana the yeah. fucking shit tim's gonna be on the pod soon he's hilarious headline zanies it's uh january 17th you gonna plug in there? Is that yeah, what you're doing? Plugging it. And that's good, good ass memory. That I was just, good. I saw this, this. I saw that this morning. Can I tell you? It, I, took... it might be wrong. It, that might be the wrong day. I think it's probably the wrong day. <laughs> Look eyes, it up. Look it up. Your eyes. Fucking kinda, lazy pigs. <laughs> your eyes kind of went up. I could tell you were thinking. And I was like, yeah, oh, he really nailed yeah. it. He really got it perfect. And I was gonna compliment you, but you were so thrilled with yourself. And, uh, <laughs> that memory. I'm had, working for a better memory in 2024. Is that your what your New Year's resolution? Fuck, what? I don't know. I literally was about to be like, what the fuck was I talking about? Yeah, I know. About? You got it? No, yeah. JC and then like uh, Lizzie's mom came to town. They're from, she's Hell from Hell yeah, bitch. Yeah. And Hell he, yeah, bitch. So Tim did the a classic thing at the bar where he got a free beer, came back, got another free beer, gave one to Lizzie. And yeah. I saw him give it to her and I was like, oh, he's going to the bathroom. So we just had her hold his drink. And then he's like, oh, you can't, you don't get, you have to pay for that as a free beer or whatever. Not a free beer. You don't have a wristband. I'm like, no, no, no. I was like, it's her boyfriend's. I was like, he's just in the bathroom like i swear i was like i wouldn't fucking lie to you dude i was like my boy tim walks back holding a beer i'm like all right i think we were both wrong in this situation <laughs> <laughs> no i was like no that's totally my bad i was like i'll pay for it since Just, I was you were wrong. trying to walk it back <laughs> yeah. immediately you're like look life is complicated and things I was happen like, patrick mahomes hasn't even proved himself yet dude. i was like take that fucking hat off but then he um <laughs> then he was like yeah no you guys are he's like it's fine don't worry about the beer he's like Totally cool. He's like, I don't really give a fuck. He's like, let's do free shots now. And yeah. then they came from an Elton John concert. It was around Halloween. So Lizzie's southern mom Wasn't dressed she wearing as a full scarf? Elton John. Yeah. No, <laughs> full, full blow Elton John. With the big sunglasses. Like the dazzled out, like <laughs> full outfit, the boots. And then she just looks at me with the sunglasses on, giant sunglasses. She just goes, hell yeah, bitch. Hell yeah, bitch. And then bitch. ripped a shot with us. That was, we were at a party one time and they made... What's that New Orleans drink called? Mind Erasers? The shot's called Mind Erasers? I had uh, Hurricanes when I was in New Orleans. It was either called, yeah, it was either a Hurricane, I think it was a Mind Eraser. The Hurricane's a thing with the pineapple. I love a Hurricane. It's like, like the Icy. Yeah, yeah, So they gave us, I haven't had an Icy one. I've just had it over ice. It's delicious. It's dangerous. I, a Hurricane is basically just jungle juice, I think. That, bro, that's the secret. We made jungle juice in college. Pineapple juice cuts it. We used to not use vodka. We used fucking Everclear. That's disgust, <laughs> dude. What the fuck? That's dude, crazy. Was, and we'd, we'd I'd like go to Walmart and I would get like a big tub. Like I would get like a storage container that you put your shorts in over the winter or whatever. And I just filled it up with ice, Everclear, Squirt. Pineapple juice, little crayon. It's little crazy OJ. that that's like the the age when all the adults are telling you like you don't know anything yet, and you're like, no, I got it all figured out. It's like you use Everclear instead of vodka. <laughs> I was thinking about that the other day, where I like genuinely, when I was like young twenties, I was like, oh, this is life is easy, and now mm. I'm like, if a twenty year old talks to me, I'm gonna smack the fuck out of them. I'm just like, get the fuck away from me. If a 20 year old even <laughs> fucking talks to me. Don't fucking look at me, you fucking weird chat. Unless you're a college athlete, then we could hang. I'll buy yeah. you a beer. Man, the age, the age of college athletes is getting more and more sad for me as I turn 30. Oh, uh, no, there's a, we got a few of those like older QBs. And, we got no, no, the, the Rams. Stetson Bennett. Yeah. Stetson Bennett. Yeah. He's an alcoholic. That's is he really? You, so you should have. Yeah, they put him on like leave and it wasn't an injury and it was like because he was like a 24 year old partying in college all the time he was a quarterback dude well he was also he was the king of athens georgia yeah that exactly, was, yeah like, he was the king he was there for what like fucking eight years because some of those guys got extra eligibility during covid 
So he got to be like a 28 year old guy that just lived in Athens, Georgia, never had to pay for a drink. Every girl yeah. fucking knew him and wanted to fuck him. And then if any town you could move, like fingers crossed, you can go to Atlanta, even somewhere in the South, like Florida, where people would still kind of recognize him. Yeah. And he has to go to fucking Los Angeles. He has to go to this where all the hottest people are yeah. and no one gives a fuck about college football. I mean, if, dude, if you are a professional athlete, it's just, it doesn't even matter. That's a, that's a golden card that Bro, clearly, we'll never understand. Clearly it's not though. Clearly he went he's, to LA. He's to drinking a, because he's a pro athlete. He's partying. No, you don't have a problem if you're partying. That's fun. You have a problem if it's an issue. You could have a problem if you're partying too much. What are you talking about? Dude, didn't you watch the Manziel doc? Actually, that motherfucker no, was I never really. He was just partying the he, whole time. You mean a giant <laughs> NFL bus? <laughs> the guy who was rolling up dollar bills in the public bathrooms? The guy's a fucking idiot. Dude, and the whole thing in that documentary is he's just like, yeah, like, I've walked away from public life. And he's like, I'm not partying as much. And it just it, he's just chilling with his friends and they're just drinking white claw. Yeah. It's literally it's this whole documentary about how alcohol and drugs ruined this guy's life. And the whole ending is like, look, I stick to seltzers now. Yeah. I pretty much I pretty much don't take shots. The, guy's, the guy's a piece of shit. I don't like, care. Like, he learned as little of a lesson as like he it switched to beer. That's all it is. It yeah, switched yeah, to yeah, beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hit a family in a drunk driving accident, and that moment really changed things for me. It's a... Uh, I decided to stop drinking vodka. <laughs> I'm a Michelob Light guy now. Yeah, I drink a lot of rum-based drinks. Yeah, yeah. I figure if there's fruit in it, if it's a, if I get a little, that is funny. How can you be an alcoholic if you have a little umbrella in your drink? Yeah. Like, look, pal, I'm drinking my time. I found my beach, dude. <laughs> what are you talking about? That that be that's the best place to be an alcoholic anywhere where it's hot. That's not true. Chicago's the best place to be an alcoholic. Yeah, I guess it is because it's like warm for. Two months, and then everyone's like, yeah, we're going to go outside and drink. And then it's like, we can't go outside. We have to drink. Do we need some Chicago shit? Yesterday was the first real snow of the year. I went to a bar at 4 p.m. Corcoran's by Second City. Just be like, mm -hmm. I'm going to get a salad and a soup, and I'm not going to drink, but I just need to get some food. Seems like a fun environment. Go in there at 4 p.m. on Tuesday, packed with people drinking. Oh, like yeah, some yeah. real fucking, I'm pretty sure I saw, you know, like the older bartender that works at Old Town Ale House? Yeah. The guy that has the rolled up sleeves, that guy, he looks like an accountant. That yeah. motherfucker had three glasses of wine at 4 p.m. That is that's probably one of his jobs. He's not a that's probably why he never talks at Old Town Ellis. He's it's, probably fucking three wides deep. Yeah, he's, I mean that guy uh kind of scares me sometimes. No, he does. He's got a real like Frankenstein esque vibe. Well, there's just something to there's something about a guy that works in a bar and still wears a collared shirt. Anyone who's significantly taller than me, I'm like you Frankenstein ass bitch. <laughs> That's the issue. You monster. <laughs> I like how I couldn't tell with what you were going for. Yeah. And then you just made it abundantly clear. It's that guy. This guy's three inches taller than you. Oh, we're talking about a different guy. I'm talking about like the way older. Dude, yeah, he's like, like probably gray hair. in he's, his 60s. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's like six five. Okay, man. You really think so? Maybe it's because I'm always sitting at a bar stool and I talk to him. <laughs> By the way, what if he's the only guy that listens to this podcast? That would be awesome. He just sends it, you motherfucker! Yeah, yeah. Well, we're done, fellas. We lost our only listener. God damn it. I do love that fucking bar, though. Old it's Town a great bar. It's a great bar. It's a great bar. I, um, I had shoot. sex in the bathroom there one time. Yeah, he actually was there. Oh, yeah, you I were there. I hate that I know that. But it was... Comically fast. <laughs> what well, fuck you guys? Comically fast. You guys peer pressured me into fucking in the I bathroom. I was the one that said, don't do it. I, I specifically said, I don't want to be in a building where you're having sex. <laughs> we live together. You've been in a building where I'm having sex plenty of times. I didn't, yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like, I have to sage the next day. Get rid of the fucking demons. <laughs> you're walking around like a Catholic priest. <laughs> yeah, literally. On Christmas. Yeah. With the, the incense and myrrh. <laughs> but I'm like, be gone. <laughs> 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 talk, I got a coffee and talk. But I did have some shit that I Oh yeah, a goal of mine, twenty twenty four, talking about getting taller. I'm gonna find love. Yeah. And I'm gonna dunk. What do you mean? Neither of those things have to do anything with each other. You're oh, so you're gonna dunk a basketball. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I make a bold prediction? I'm not gonna do it. I don't, think, I don't think either of these things are gonna happen. Yeah, maybe the not love thing, but <laughs> I'm dunking. <laughs> I'm fucking dunking. That's it, what you're worried about? I mean, I'd say that, yeah, love is secondary for me right now. <laughs> Gotta put myself first. Falling in love, I can't do that, but uh, am I a tall, tall guy named Tim on the Spurs? Well, I'm dunking. 
Do you like that? <laughs> that am, I, right. am I Ben Affleck in a commercial? Because I'm Duncan. Do you have I'm, a third? I'm a Starbucks bitch. You know that. I hate that. This Why? is going against everything. Yeah, I should have. Whatever. You want to yes and. But uh, what I was going to say. <laughs> this is what I was going to say. This is what I was going to say. <laughs> You're such a prick. <laughs> well, it hit me when it was too late. <laughs> Go for it. I need to learn to dunk before I find love because that's how I'm going to find love. Oh, through yeah. a little love in basketball, yeah, if you yeah, will. Yeah. What's what's are you playing pickup games and a girl comes and sees you? I'm just gonna wait at a court until a girl walks by and I'm gonna dunk. I'm gonna be like, that was for you. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I do is for you. Yeah. And it's probably probably gonna have to do that at like a a lot until it works. But <laughs> some girl with headphones on walking to the train. Yeah. Some homeless guy yelled at me today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he could jump pretty high though. He did jump pretty good. <laughs> what, what's your twenty twenty four goals? I got none. If I had on, I'm um. I just want to be more of a headliner. I guess if we're gonna be like sincere, I wrote down a few things on my computer today. The other day. Should I pull it up real what, quick? Being a headliner? It's yeah, it's all just career stuff. So headliner, there's longer sets. Yeah, I want to start doing longer sets. I just I I love every opportunity that I get. Like I love being the guy that opens for people, but in the I just want to start being like, oh yeah, we're gonna go see Willie G tonight. Yeah, not like Willie G everywhere. opening for Greg. If you're not a, I love opening for what Greg. What are you doing? By the way, this weekend I will be in Waterford, Michigan, opening for Greg Hahn. I'm very grateful for these shows. Actually, this is gonna come out in six days. So thank you guys so much for coming out to Waterford. Me and Greg had great shows at One Night Stands yeah, Comedy yeah, yeah, Club. Yeah. It's what gonna, am I gonna be this week. La oh. Well, this comes out next Wednesday. So yesterday I was at Laugh Factory. <laughs> and then uh, two days before that, I was also at Laugh Factory. Dude, I do have, I have Chicago spots again. There we go. I'm back in the New York groove, baby. I don't even know what my... I need to get better at that and remembering my dates. Hosting Zany's Old Town on the 23rd, Michael Jordan Day. Hosting uh, Zany's and the Burbs. Not hosting, just a showcase spot on the 24th. Oh, uh, but Zany's the 27th. Boom. Late okay. show. Which Late one? After Hours. Yeah. So come have a couple drinks. Pay me some money. Colin Dash Unger. I might plug it on this. I might plug it on stage. I'll bring it back. I hate this. I haven't done it in a while. I, I, I actually am going to start plugging it on stage again. It. It's so embarrassing. Not when I get that paper, son. <laughs> You're just begging. Not when I get that fucking paper. <laughs> You're just begging people for money constantly. They like what I do. They like, would, they like my little dick antics on stage. I would like it if one day I'm just about to get on the highway, I got road work or whatever, and I just look as I'm pulling on, and there's one of those guys in the middle of the street, and it's just you in your nice little jacket with the hood on. Yeah. And you just have a sign that just says Colin Dash on Girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that fucking jacket. That was the nicest jacket I've ever had. How is that what you took from the thing that I just said? <laughs> More Jackets cost money, dude. What do you mean? I'm trying to stay warm out here. I just I made a joke about you begging for money on the street. And the thing that you take from it is, I do love that jacket, man. Do you know, that's why I meditate and shit. That's why I do all this. I, my mind is chaos yeah. all the time. Do you know how hard it is to focus on one? I'm unmedicated my whole goddamn life. Stop saying that like it's a good thing. You could fix that. You could get medicated. Yeah, I'm looking for a new therapist actually right now. You are? Well, I just got approved for healthcare. Oh shit! Oh shit, yeah. dude! Let's yeah, go play with big. knives. You want to get? I a, can. Let's get a gun. I can. Uh, I want a gun. <laughs> I truly want a gun. No, it's a bad idea. No, I do want a gun. I, I want protection. From, from from what, Colin? Anything. The, Ghosts. The only thing that you'll need protection from is your own self if you get a gun. I've, I'm <laughs> I'm back into ghost stories. I need protection. Okay. Are you, do you have any? We talked about this yesterday. How I think you should stop talking about ghost stories all the time because you never have any ammo for it. Well, lately I haven't found anything that's really spoken to me. There was one. You know that show that they made? You stink. The, the show, no, this is... <laughs> shut the fuck up. This has to do with what I'm talking about. <laughs> What's the that show? That, show the show that, that you, they made. You interrupted me, bitch. It's with the stepdad from uh, Ant-Man. <laughs> And it's about like them moving into a new house and they keep getting these letters. Is that called like the visitor or the watcher or something? Oh, the watcher. I saw that the shit. The watcher, yeah. Yeah, I saw that. I knew about that shit years ago. I hate that. That shit makes me so oh, scared. I love it. I that love shit, it so much. There's this really like small scene in there where they just open a door and there's this guy that they don't expect to be in there and he's in there. 
and it's he like, like making a sandwich. Um, no, he's it's it's. I don't want to go to. If I go into it too much, it'll spoil it. Yeah, and it's the show's just not as good as the real. Oh, story. the same. You know, yeah, it just scares the shit out of me, dude. Also, we're in a basement. I think there's tunnels down here. I've been freaking out about tunnels lately. You ever think about tunnels? Oh yeah, he was chasing that guy. Well, that's not a thing that oh, happened. That's not something gosh. that happened from the real story. No, I know, but there's a lot of tunnels in like the real world. Yeah, like there's like tunnels from like Colma in Indiana. There's all these mm-hmm. cave systems, and there's, they're all they connected. say there's a tunnel system in Chicago. I get yeah from blue bootleggers and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get so scared about goddamn tunnels. I'm tunnels intrigue me for some reason. That's probably the way I'm gonna go out. Is no, going into dude. A tunnel. Could you just if we're just chilling right here and some little motherfucker just peeps out of that going like no, dude. Peeps, there's a little trap door I'm and then we them. Oh, I'm never chasing you them. You know those things under bridges, those like metal tubes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to crawl through those when I was a kid, <laughs> dude. I'm like, what's on the other side? And so just like, oh fuck, I've been here. I just go doing back. a drainage pipe? Yeah, crawling through that shit. We all not much down, going on. We all flow down here, Kali. Yeah, I'll get eaten by it. No, not a clown. Don't Is that a good voice? I don't, I don't know. That's I feel like I do a pretty fucking good. What's Have that guy's name? Have you seen the movie Pennywise? It, I had to see. I had to see both. I had to see it and it too. I like those are the scary movies I can I could do. I can't do like Saw, nothing like that. I don't like gruesome shit. I like Saw. Pretty much the only that, that was too scary, but I watched it when I was a kid, and then I kind of liked the the twist in it. Um, the only scary movies that I watch, but truly, are like the Jordan Peele ones. I watch. Have you? By the way, I've been calling Jordan Peele Jordan Poole sometimes. <laughs> Kind of funny. Yeah. Kind I of mean, a funny thing to get kind wrong. Of close. Kind of a funny thing to No, yeah, it's just E's yeah, instead yeah, of O's yeah. or O's instead of E's. Being like, dude, I love that Jordan Poole movie, Get Out. It's a really yeah. funny slip up. People call you out on it, it's a good time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you just look racist. <laughs> it's not a racist thing. It's a vowel it's a thing. It's a dumb thing. It's a dumb it's thing. It's a vowel thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's like a Seinfeld thing where Costanza will be like, it's a vowel thing. A hundred percent. It's a hundred percent. Oh shit! I uh, here's one that will fuck you up though. I, I read about this story that they thought was a ghost because people kept seeing this like white, super pale figure and this old man's like. It wasn't attic. a ghost. It was just you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but it is. Let me tell my fucking stories, bitch. I like that. I'm sorry. Well, these are. You're asking for him. Now you're not going to be able to sleep at night. This was just a dude living in an old man's house, like a squatter. I get so scared of that shit. And he would come out and he would shadow the old man. Like he would follow him from room to room and shit. And like he got caught doing that and then he killed the old, old man. They did like no one heard from him. So they did a uh, wellness check on him. Saw that he was dead. And the cop saw the guy like trying to climb in. Or no, they. A cop saw the guy in the window and they went back in and saw his like legs trying to like climb up through a fucking hole and then yanked him down. Oh. And he's like, they said he was like just a fucking supernatural looking from that's, just living there and shit. That's terrible. I mean, it's, it's the parasite. Yeah. Thing. That shit happens. Oh my it's more gosh, common than dude. you think. I'm literally, I'm terrified right now. I told you it would fuck you up. I, I told you it would fuck you up. Dude, my I've seen videos of like, I saw a video of like this New York apartment where this girl took the, took her mirror off. And Why? Her, uh, Why are you talking? I told you. Because like, she felt a breeze in her bathroom with no wind or yeah, no windows. And she took the mirror off the like. Was there just a guy behind the mirror? There was a full ass like abandoned like oh. unfinished looking apartment with like. Fred, like recently eaten food, like That's waters scary. that like were like just bucket. open. Yeah, yeah dude. Shit oh like that. my, a little sleeping bag. And like, yeah, it was easy. So that dude probably was going around what? her apartment and shit. Here, here's a little thing. You find that in your apartment, right? You find just like a, clearly someone has been living. There's recent, there's like water that's like, yeah. there's temperature or things. So you just know there's a person there. But there is one piece of media. He has a very small TV and he has one VHS tape that makes this whole thing funny for you. What is that VHS tape? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> or the Rugrats Orange VHS tape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little Rascals. The Wild Thornberries movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, it. that's just the If it's the right movie, I'm like, you know what, man? You can stay a while. That guy's in there watching Die Harder. Yeah. You're like, you know what? You deserve it. You've been watching the shitty sequel in DC for yeah. years, pal. You enjoy your time in I there. I would just leave the mirror on the floor and be like, come on in, man. And it's like, <laughs> We're boys now. <laughs> no, that would be probably not even the worst roommate I've ever had if they just loved, <laughs> they just loved uh, Rugrats or some shit. He's just got a bunch of sugar-free high C. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a bunch of Kool-Aid packets. 
<laughs> go Gertz. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. That's fun. What what is a weird thing? Just living like my childhood self would have loved to. Exactly. There's just Lunchable, the Lunchables, and then he has all of the airheads that aren't the flavor that he liked all in a corner somewhere. Yeah, I can't tell you the last time I've had a Lunchable. I had a Lunchable it's when I was sick. I love Lunchables when I'm sick. Which one? Uh, pizza. And I get extra cheese because the extra cheese, the pepperoni, you want the pepperoni, but there's just not enough cheese in the pepperoni Lunchable. Now, I know what you're thinking. Willie, there's no drink with that. I get the Lunchable box. It's got the little package in there, and there's a Capri Sun in there. It rules. I mean, it can't taste good. It tastes so good. When's the last time you had a Capri Sun? I had one two weeks ago. I'm I talking like, about the Lunchable. I know, but the, buddy, the Lunchable, <laughs> you're acting like these are mutually exclusive things. The Capri I mean, Sun I Capri comes, Sun is probably fine. I don't it's nice. I could go the rest of my life without having a Capri Sun, and not I wouldn't me. feel bad about it at all. Not me. I can't go a couple weeks without getting a little CS in my mouth. Ooh, that sounded gross. Ew, yeah. Yeah, did you feel that? That could mean a lot of things. Cock sucking right there. Come shot. Come shot. God damn it. Yeah, no one's going. <laughs> if you say CS in my mouth, no one's thinking Capri Sun. <laughs> that's, that's disgusting. I'm trying a little, get a, a little bit of CS Lewis in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. It was definitely yeah, weird. I don't know what I don't know where to go from there. Yeah, I mean, maybe we should just, we should just call it. I guess we could just it. call it, yeah. We could just, a, we could just this is the fucking first, this call is the it. First, I don't know, this isn't the first episode of 2024. Yeah, well, yeah, we did the make first one. recording of 2024. Wait, wait, we got to talk about that. Sorry, so we did put out an episode. We I edited a whole fucking episode. We recorded the intros and outros. Uh, we were going to put it out the day after Christmas, call it the High Holidays episode. Yeah. And I just, I forgot to bring my fucking laptop. You got to too high. I forgot to bring my laptop to Indy, so I couldn't edit it. At one point, I was going to be like, yo, can you go to my house and try to edit it? And I was like, I can't. He'll have to get into my computer. I'll have to type a password in. I would have somehow in. put a, like a DMX track in there. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, dude, this is the best one we've ever done. <laughs> you know what? This is the only episode out of the nine we've done where we stop, drop, and yeah. shut them down and open up shop. Yeah. So I think this is probably the best episode of the pod so far. This one's for you, DMX. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, I was going to say, it is funny because... You, you're not smoking, or you weren't smoking because you were sick, so you were strictly doing edibles. Yeah, that's right now. And Yeah, I mean, you're doing a bad job at keeping count of how many edibles you're taking. Because I stopped by here the other day for like two, I forgot what for, I think it was like something for the pod, just like 30 minutes, and your eyes <laughs> were insane. Mm-hmm. You were looking past me, <laughs> like, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking wild. And yeah, we'll play like Xbox or something. <laughs> it's... Every word, every sentence you say is just one word. <laughs> yeah, edible eye, it's not a subtle eye. It's, I can't do it. I can't do it like you. I can't do the dabs like that. I can't. I mean, if I do like a dab or an edible, it's like I'm staying in. It's like I'm <laughs> no, a, it's a movie night. Um, uh, edibles, I'm staying in, but I'll do a dab and go out. I'll fuck around. I'll take a little DAB. 30 minutes, I'm like, I need to lie down. No, I love taking D's. I love, God Jesus. damn it. That sounded bad too. Sound yeah, like I was no, saying everyone's going to, I mean, yeah. What's everyone's, everyone's gonna think you're gay? This is all, <laughs> uh, this is nothing wrong with it, but just all I these, saw, there was all a, these codes that you're using. <laughs> there was a switch in your head that was like, "That's more of a podcast off conversation." Yeah, yeah probably. I mean, it's, I mean, nothing wrong with it if you are. I think <laughs> it genuinely, genuinely, it. I think you are, and we're still friends. It's okay, buddy. We just gotta wait till my dad dies. All right, everybody. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us on the Loose Toss Podcast. Drip, drip. Well, that's our little show, gang. Thank you very much for listening. Thanks to Luke Newman for coming on the pod, you weird little goblin. Colin, you got anything to say? We did it again. <laughs> we did it again. Yeah. We did it again, everybody. We did it, everyone. If you want to come see me on the road, not on the road, in Chicago, I'm going to be at Zany's in Old Town hosting on Tuesday, the 23rd of January. The following night, the 24th, that Wednesday, I'm going to be up in the Burbs doing a little showcase at the Old Zanes. Call. You got anything coming up on the cow for the people? Um, this comes out the 17th. I'm at Butch McGuire's Monday, the 22nd in yeah? Chicago. Butch McGuire, you're going to drink with a 19-year-old using a fake ID? Oh, I'm actually at Tight Shit. Er, is that, that is a fake ID place, but <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that when I accepted the show. So 20 bucks is 20 bucks. What are you going to do? Uh, so this comes out Wednesday. So then tomorrow, the 18th, I'm actually at Tight Ship. Hell yeah. That's a great show. It's a great Chicago show. In Chicago and like West Loop. Yeah, hell yeah. Half Sour, I think it's called. That is what it's called in the West Loop. Another West Loop. It's in the South Loop. Nick and Lodge the 23rd. Zany's the 27th. Look at us. uh, Come come just 
Throw some money at me. <laughs> I was just so... Come on. I had no idea where you were going with that. I'll do a little dance for you. <laughs> I kind of figured that it would be the money thing. It's always money. All right, gag. It's always money. Drip, drip. Dollar, dollar. Cash, cash. You got a tooth thing for him? Drip, drip. That's it, folks. Thank you guys for listening to Loose Toss. Tell your friends. Rate, review, subscribe. Or don't, dude. We're, we're fucking cool guys. We don't give no, a shit. No, do it. We need it. We need it. We need it. <laughs> Ciao.